Hello, so today uh, I'm going to be going over how to make the bobblehead antenna uh, in GTA 5 for any car you want. Uh, this is not... Uh, so, Alright, so I'm, I'm just going to start. So, uh, to start off, you want to open your OpenIV and you want to navigate to uh, update D, uh, X64 DLC packs and then MP Halloween. Navigate to where the vehicles are. <clears throat> and you want to export Lurker somewhere to your computer. Uh, this is what the Lurker is. Uh, if you don't already know what it is. Basically, uh, the Lurker has this guy in here and a bobblehead up here. So I'm going to hide this and what you're going to do is import uh, that Lurker. I'm just going to import the high doesn't really matter if you import the high or not <clears throat> and then you're gonna open up the hierarchy and you're gonna rip bobble head and bobble hand out of there uh, bobble hand is compounded we're gonna dismiss that get rid of the hand mesh and now you're left with two dummies now what we're gonna do is uh, import <clears throat> uh, some antennas we we want on this on this card all right <clears throat> so now for the next part what you're gonna want to do is uh, you want to go to polygon select your antennas and what you want to do is select just the antenna part that you want to move so that's going to be these three right here and basically it's just going to be this part that has the bob so we're going to come over here to sub mesh detach from polygons and now we have the antenna base antenna base and then we got the antenna. We're just going to we're gonna we're gonna have Bobblehead use that. So <clears throat> what you're gonna do is come up here to move, go to move access only, and then we're going to center local access, and we're going to move this on the y-axis down to the very base of the antenna. Now this is basically, uh, this is going to act as uh, the pivot point. This is going to be where the antenna moves uh, according to. And then what you're going to do is, <clears throat> once that's done, you're going to take, uh, go to go back to display, go to copy local axis, you know, left click this, and left click that bobblehead. Now the dummy is centered where you want the rotation to take place. So we're going to make a copy of that. Uh, convert to compound and we're going to do L0, L1. Alright. Uh, that's compounded. And we're going to drag in a, another antenna. Okay. So now that that's all done, we're going to again go to polygon. Going to highlight the parts we want to we want to wobble, detach it, and move axis only. Display. We're going to set the orientation to the center, <clears throat> and now we're going to move this down to the pivot point we want. Just right there. Good. Looks good. All right. So now. <clears throat> We're gonna do is bobble hand. We're going to hide all this crap and bobble hand. We're going to take this, click that. There you go. Voila. I'm going to convert this to compound. Uh, copy this once <clears throat> and drag this up. Drag this up. And there you go. There's your second. Bobble head and bobble hand, and uh, I'm going to display this in game in just a moment. All right, <clears throat> so here we are in GTA. Here's our car. Just spawned it in, and uh, as you can see, as soon as you even get in the car, the antennas are already bobbling so here you go 
test. One in front is bobble head, the one in back is bobble hand. As you can see, the bobble head is a little, little more aggressive. Uh, not a little more, a lot more. It's definitely a lot more aggressive. Um, so if you have smaller antennas, I suggest using bobble hand. Uh, the longer ones, bobble head, and, you know. But uh, that's that. And that's how it's set up. That's how it works. All, the, all that good jazz. Um, yeah.